Hello again. So we're going to make a dot painting today. What you will need is some paper, any colour you like, and I'm trying to think of things that you might have around the house. So cotton buds is ideal for making the dotting. If you don't have cotton buds then a brush will be fine or anything else with a little round end and paint. Any kind of paints will be fine also, but if you've got something slightly thicker, like a poster paint, that's ideal. So paint, paper, and cotton bud or something else for dotting. And we're going to do an object of your choice. I'm choosing a flower from the garden again, uh, but you can choose whatever you like. You could choose your favorite mug, you could choose uh, an object that you really like, or you could choose again, like I am, flowers or something you find outside. So it's entirely up to you and we're going to make a dot painting with this so I'm going to go inside and show you how. And I've got some beautiful flowers that my friend has given me from her garden so we've got some lovely white and yellow and some nice pink and purples and ideally what you'd want for this is some poster paint but I don't have any of that at home so I'm using my watercolours again which should be fine but I just need a bit of water to that to make them um, a little bit more stick better basically to the to the um, cotton bud so you can see I need to sort of put a bit of water on first and then rub it around because it's watercolour but if you've got post paint it's quite thick and you can just put it onto a, a, a plastic plate or something and then you just dab in and, and onto your page so the first thing we need to do is just roughly draw out what it is you're going to be uh, dotting so I'm going to draw out with a pencil just the rough shape of the flowers. I'm not going to do all of them. I want to keep it more simple so I'm just going to draw out a couple of them. So I'm going to first of all start off with the container they're in which is just a simple jar. Now it doesn't have to, you don't have to press too hard because these are just giving you your rough outlines to work within and then in there we've got the stalks coming up and out. We've got a few of those and they're coming in all different directions. <laughs> can hear my son in the background. And then at the end of the stalks and as you go up as well, excuse me, door, there's um, some leaves coming off so I'm just going to draw those in and some of them are different shapes. We've got some lovely, if you look up here, some lovely sort of spiky shapes on the plants here in the green areas and on these purple ones and then much more round shapes than the daisies <coughs> and these pinks so I'm going to try and just pick out a couple of those different shapes in the drawing so here we go I think somewhere around here we've got a, a daisy so I'm going to do the circle first and then from there just add in some of those petals so they're just going to go around all the way and then I might just do a couple of those pink ones which are slightly more bell shaped with a little bit of something coming out the top and then I'd like to do one of these more spiky shaped ones and they, they are actually just little flowers with longer parts coming out of the middle so they are clustered together so I'm going to do a few of those so I don't want to spend ages on the drawing, I just want to get a rough outline. Of the rough shapes that we're going to draw. Now some of these leaves have got quite beautiful sort of fern like characteristics so they kind of go out and get slightly bigger as they go along. I might just add one more in here. There's a, an open daisy that sort of goes upwards. So I'm going to look at it from that angle. Okay, so I'm going to keep it quite simple. So that's stage one. So then I'm going to get my cotton bud. I'm just going to take a clean one. And I'm going to try and pick out some of those colours. To start off, I'm going to do the daisy. So I'm going to dip my cotton bud into the water and then find a yellow and get a 
decent amount of paint onto my cotton bud and then I'm just going to dot around to make there we go so I'm going to do the same for my daisy up here so instead of having a paintbrush you're just using your cotton bud instead and that gives you the possibility to do this dabbing and dotting Okay, so next I want to go in with a different colour, so I'm going to either use the other end or use a different one. So again, I need to just dunk mine in the water, only because it's watercolour paint. If you've got poster paints at home that are thicker, you won't need to do that. I'm just going to rub it in there for a moment, get the colour onto it, and then I'm going to go over these little purple ones. with my dotting. Now if we want to add in some of the length of the bits coming out of them we can do that later on but for now I'm just going to get those shapes. Okay then I'm going to go in with another, I'll just use the end of this one another cotton bug and get, I want to go for more of a pinkish colour so I might need to mix up because I can't actually see that in my palette here so I'm going to use a tiny bit of red and try and mix that with a little bit of the purple and see if I can get a, a more reddish pinkish colour yeah I'm quite happy with that so then I'm going to just it's still could do with being a little bit more pinky so I'm going to put a bit more red in and follow the shape of that flower round. So it's more of a bell shape. Now I'm thinking actually I might want to add a couple more in. So if you decide you want to do that, just draw them in here. Another bell there. And perhaps just to make it look a bit more full, I might add in some of those. ones and perhaps a few more leaves just to fill it out. Okay so then going back in with the colours that I want, fill out those new areas and the other one I'm going to use that purple again. Here we are. These are like little clusters, these ones. And then for the stems, I am going to go green. Um, so I'm going to use the same technique. I'll dip the cotton bud into the green I want. And then I will just build it up with the dots as well. And you can just take those dots down as well into the stem. So down they go. I'm just going to carry on this and I might fill it out a little bit more and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So I'm just finishing up there. So I've done quite a lot of dotting. And I realised the daisies, because they're white on white, they're not going to show up. So I just used the pencil to go over the outlines a bit stronger. So pushing a bit harder with the pencil. And I probably need to do the same actually for the container they're in, because that's also clear. So I might just go round that again with my pencil, just pressing a little bit harder just to show what they're standing in. There we go, just round and up. And then, there we have it, your dot flower painting. 
This is a passion flower from my garden and they're such beautiful flowers. I really wanted to draw this one as well. So I've got quite a lot. So I've picked one and you can see they've got the most amazing circle design inside. So I'm going to have a go at drawing first and then we're going to do another dot painting with this one. Okay, so I'm going to put it just near so I can see what shapes I want to create and I'm going to pick up the pencil again and just get the rough outline. So I'm going to start off to make it easier for myself, drawing a circle, which is that sort of white circle area. And then from there, I've got a slightly larger purple circle, and then the petals that are greenish white on the outside are coming out from outside of the circle. So I'm just going to draw those around. actually less than I'm drawing I seem to have added on quite a few extra artistic license that's fine okay and then we're going to do the inner circle here and then right in the center we've got these two unusual shapes so we've got a sort of it's like it's divided into thirds with this darker shape and then one two three four five on the green shape. So that's the three. One, two, three, four, five on the outer shape. Spectacular flower. And you can see all the lines sort of go out this way, don't they? So I'm going to do that with the dotting. So I'm going to take a fresh cotton bud, dip it into my water. I'm going to start off with that sort of greenish colour on the outside and do those. So just like for those of you that, again, did this project before with Aboriginal art, we're just dotting all the way around and filling that space, but trying not to dot so close that they overlap with each other and turn into one block of colour. So we still see that the dots are there if we just spread them slightly apart, but close. So there we go. We're going all the way around. I'm sort of speeding it up a bit just for you but you take your time so round I go dotting all these shapes keep having to dip back into the color to refill my cotton bud and sometimes back into the water you can see that one's a bit more watery probably went a bit too much water on that one never mind not a problem. Okay, so around we go. I'm speeding it up again. So there we are, we've gone all the way around with the first part. And then I'm gonna pick up the purple. So I'm gonna take a purple cotton bud and go into my purple here. And I'm not gonna do the lines, I'm gonna do them as dots. So I'm just going to dot this area with purple. So it's making the picture a bit more 2D rather than 3D. You're looking at it from above and it's slightly simplified because we're just using these dot shapes. So round I go with a purple. And then the next layer is a little area of white. So I'm going to leave a little area, just plain. And then I've got to go in with a slightly darker purplish maroon colour. So try and mix something up in my palette that looks similar. And then round we go again. Probably two or three rounds I think for that one. So I suggest you take whatever flowers you can find in your garden. I'm lucky to have this magnificent passion flower but there's so many beautiful flowers out this time of year you can just pick whatever you can find. So round we go with that one and then in the centre we've got this sort of division of into three and then a slightly lighter green 
change my cotton bud. We add a bit of yellow to it and then we're going to go up. Oops, maybe a little bit too watery. But you get the idea. I might even just add a bit of that lighter green onto my outside layer. Just because colours are usually, particularly with wild life and flowers aren't very often just one colour. When you look closely, there's often a whole range of different hues and different shades. Okay. So, there we go. It's just a simple passion flower. Yeah.